Wouldn't it be awesome if there was a hack you could use, even while stuck sitting at a desk, that could lower your blood sugar a lot in a good way? Or you're stuck at a dinner table and you're being forced to eat a high carb food by your family that you don't want to eat and you know it's going to spike your blood sugar. Wouldn't it be cool if you could be doing something under the table to lower your blood sugar that no one would know about? Well, new research shows that there is such a secret thing that you can do under the table that will lower your blood sugar. And I'm going to tell you about it in this video. Okay. Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician. So, Most of the muscles in your body store a polysaccharide known as glycogen. And when you start to exercise or use that muscle, it starts to break down that glycogen. And only when that glycogen is almost depleted, does that muscle start to pull in blood sugar or glucose from your bloodstream, therefore lowering your blood sugar. So if you look at the back of your calf, your lower leg, you'll notice a big muscle there on the back called the gastrocnemius. Now this muscle is able to burn glycogen. So that's not the muscle that you're going for. When we take off the gastrocnemius, underneath it is a muscle called the soleus. And this research discovered that the soleus is not able to burn stored glycogen, almost none at all. And so immediately when you start to activate the soleus muscle, it starts to pull blood sugar in out of your bloodstream. And even though relatively speaking, the soleus muscle is kind of small, it's less than 1% of your total body weight, the fact that it can't burn stored glycogen means that immediately it starts to pull in glucose from your bloodstream and that's gonna lower your blood sugar. And indeed the research that they did found that this absolutely works within minutes. And I'm gonna demonstrate how to do the proper movement. If you are sitting in the right position, this exercise is very easy to do and you can do it just like I show you in the video here momentarily. And you're going to see, if, especially if you're wearing a CGM, you'll see your blood sugar start to go down immediately. Now, I don't want you to use this as an excuse, like, ah, oh, since I now have this hack, I can eat the hot fudge cake and do soleus push-ups, and that will cancel out the damage. No, 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 my friend. It doesn't work that way. But if you are at a family dinner and you're going to break grandma's heart if you don't have a piece of her apple pie a la mode, then you can start doing these soleus push-ups sitting at the dinner table. Have that tiny piece of pie with just a little scoop of ice cream. Granny will never know, and you won't have the blood sugar excursion that you would have had otherwise. The place that this really comes in handy is for those of you who are stuck at a desk for hours a day, and even though you're trying to eat a very low-carb diet, still your blood sugar is going up because you're sitting all day, you, which you have to do, you don't have a choice, and this is going to help you lower your blood sugar even if you cannot get up from your desk. So here I am sitting at my desk right now, and right now I'm doing Soleus push-ups. Can you tell? You can't tell. Neither will Granny be able to tell. You won't hurt anyone's feelings by doing this. Your boss will not be able to tell that you're multitasking under the desk. So here I go. I'm going to show you some video. This is me doing soleus push-ups. Now, if you do this same exact motion while you're standing up, the gastrocnemius, that big muscle, it does most of the work, and which is still a good thing. It's a good exercise, but you're not going to notice the blood sugar lowering that you're going to notice if you do this seated at a desk with your knee at a 90 degree angle. And then you're just going to raise your heel as high as you can get it up off the floor, hold it really tightly for a one or a two count, then lower it back down, then repeat. You can do 10, 20, 100, 500, depending on how big that piece of pie was or depending on how many hours you're sitting at that desk. And if you're wearing a CGM or if you prick your finger and do a glucometer measurement, you will see that your blood sugar has absolutely responded to this within minutes.